Hey guys, Games for Life here and in this video we're gonna be completing stage 2 of the Breakdown Limited event in Estronir. I'm really excited for this stage because we've got new items. And don't forget, this is stage 2 out of 3, so we'll have even more items next week. But right now let's take a look at the items we can craft. So last time we could craft the Squashotane from Unknown Biofuel and Noxotane. It looks like this, it's really awesome. And we could also craft the Cosmic Automaton from Cosmic Bubbles and the Automaton 9. This one looks a little bit more glitchy, I really like the look of this. But right now we can craft a new thing in the medium printer this time. We will be able to craft the Cosmic Squash. For this you'll need Cosmic Bubble, Unknown Biofuel and Recipound. This is the new resource of stage 2. Recipound is the thing we unlocked this week. And then we've got some more items here, but since we don't have leaks, we cannot craft any of them. So I think this is gonna be in stage 3, so the Noxomaton 2, the Om Nugget, and then at the large printer we'll also have the Burrito. These are all gonna be for next week probably, but right now let's craft the new item of this week, which is the Cosmic Squash, but we'll need Recipound. First of all, take a look at your mission log because you might have completed a mission. I already had this completed from before, I didn't have to do anything about it, but the mission just came in, so I'll claim the rewards. And look at that, we got one resi pound as well that we can use right now. And we've got copper, aluminum and a rail post bundle, so they probably want us to use train for this stage. I am thinking about building a train system all the way into the mantle of the planet for this stage. Oh, and that's one more thing. For the second stage, going to the first cave layer is not enough. You're gonna have to go to the mantle of the planet. That's the cave layer just above the core. But I'll show you all of that in just a second. Right now, let's craft the new item, the Cosmic Squash, because we've got one resi pound now. And let's see how this looks. Alright, so it's basically a fuel with a cosmic bubble inside. Okay, that's pretty cool, I like that. But let me show you how the new Exo Research Aids look, how they work, and there's also a surprise for us down in the caves, so let's go take a look. Okay, so we are down in the mantle of Glacio, and you can see we've got some new Exo Research Aids down here. The old ones from stage 1 are still up in the first cave layer, if you want to unlock those but they will only give you the old items. In order to get Resi Pound, you're gonna need to unlock these ones from down here. So these ones unlock with Resi Pound, these ones unlock with Letterite, and then these ones unlock with Power. Some of them have a blue base and some of them have a purple base, and that's because the purple ones are more valuable from what I can gather. So try unlocking those if you want more new items. But right now let's unlock this one. And we're gonna use Power for that. That popped really hard. Alright, and we've got some unknown biofuel, a cosmic bubble, and I saw some squashotane down there. Or noxotane, actually. Alright, that's pretty good, but we'll need some resi pound for this, so let's unlock some more. And I'm also looking for the isolated specimen that should be down here. They are probably hidden somewhere, but I'll keep looking for those and I'll show them to you once I find them. Right now, let's unlock some more of these, and from what I've seen, it's way better to just dig a little hole for this so that the head pops into the ground and it doesn't fly up so high this makes it easier to recover the items all right there we go we'll wait for this to fill up and then it will pop and there we go well this is actually giving us fully crafted items as well so we've got sweatshotane we've got a cosmic automaton and look at that there's our resi pound so that's pretty cool so we don't actually have to craft these anymore because we can get them already crafted from these new ones. Another way to ensure that these don't pop up so far is to build a sort of ceiling above them and then pop them right there. And I think this works a lot better and it's also easier to do. So I'll just do that from now on. And since we are getting already crafted items, we can store them in medium resource canisters. The resi pound can also be stored in a canister, so that's awesome. This basically makes it a whole lot easier to complete these tiers. And trust me, this method of creating a ceiling above them before they pop is the perfect way to complete this stage. Look at how easy that was, and we've got all the items right here. Okay, so I finally found these isolated specimens. I had to go one cave layer up from that, and here's where they are. And when you use them, they blow up and give you one item. I don't know if they can give you all of the items, but I'll try to open a few of them and see exactly what they give. For now, we are only getting normal items. I was expecting to also get the already crafted one from the small printer. 
but no, it seems like we're only getting Cosmic Bubbles and Noxotane. However, I will open a few more just to test this out. And oh look, those are a different color. Maybe those offer something different. Okay, so let's test the purple ones as well. And okay, so this gave us an Automaton 9. That's better. But will it give us already crafted items? That's the question. Alright, so we only get normal items from these, it seems. But that's okay, because they are pretty easy to open. You just have to click on them, and that's it. Okay, now let's head back on top and start sending the new items. So in this video, we're actually gonna unlock the second tier, which is gonna give us the Liminal Leak Palette. And from what I've seen, this looks extremely cool. I want that. But yeah, the items we can craft at a small printer meaning the Squash Otane and the Cosmic Automaton are worth 88 points each, but the Cosmic Squash, which we can now craft at the medium printer, is worth 518 points. That's a big step up, and this is gonna make it so much easier to complete. We still cannot craft the 800 points item and the 8000 points items, so we'll probably only be able to craft that in stage 3 next week, and we'll do that then, but right now we're gonna complete the second tier using just the items available right now. So let's go ahead and send this. Of course, we are just gonna fill up entire medium resource canisters and send them that way. That's so much faster. We've got a lot of materials right here. I went collecting these before stage two started, but now I'm also gonna go back and collect a ton of resi pounds so we can craft the more valuable item. The best strategy I see moving forward is to build a train system in the mantle of the planet. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I will do that off camera and you'll just see the final product using a train with coal because I've also unlocked coal. By the way, the video where I unlock this will probably come out in the next two weeks or so. Anyways, we're gonna use coal to get a fast train and it's gonna be full with all of the things we need. I'm debating on actually getting an extra request platform on the train so we can complete the event from down in the caves. That would be extremely cool. But let me see what I can do, I'll build the train, I'll build the train system, and I'll see you down in the caves showing you all of that. I hope this won't take too long, anyways, I will see you in about 3 seconds. One eternity later. Okay, so I built a little train system here, I'm gonna keep expanding it, we've got the full train here, we've got the printers, we've got the EXO request platform at the end there, I don't think you can see it, it's right here. We've got all kinds of storage. And using the rails, we can also just provide power from the rail posts, just like that. This is insanely easy to do. And just like that, you can see how easy it is to get all of these items. So we are gonna be completing this tier in no time. And I'm gonna show how we complete it, and then all the rewards we're gonna get. Now, I'm gonna grind for some more, and I won't lie, it will probably take a while. So I'll just cut all of it, and I will see you in about two seconds. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new one. Alright, so after a ton of grinding, we are finally completing the second tier. We've got 12,000 points right here, and 16,000 right here. So once we send these two, we'll have the second tier completed and we'll unlock the liminal leak palette so let's go i'm really excited for this and there it is we've got it unlocked so let me equip it and see how it looks liminal leak okay that looks good let me take the hat off see how the top looks without it okay so that looks good I actually like this with the little purple and black and white that's pretty cool i will be wearing it for the rest of the event because it just looks that good and then next time we're gonna be completing the last tier which is a huge one we'll wait for stage three to roll around that way we'll be able to craft better items like this one and the burrito honestly we're probably just gonna craft a ton of burritos because that's the easiest way to go about it all right and it seems like in 144,000 points we're gonna get some kind of rewards as well but our end goal is 800,000 almost 900 for right now I'm really happy with the rewards we've got for the first year we've got this awesome visor and now for the second one we've got this palette which looks really really cool but that's gonna be all for today make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming video I'm gonna have more videos on the breakdown limited event and also future updates and in between I'm gonna have videos about a ton of stuff in Estonia you do not want to miss those so make sure you click that subscribe button all right I've been games for life and I'll see you next time Cheers, Estroniers.